Hey guys, thanks for joining in. Tonight's video is a little different than the videos that you've seen before. We're going to talk about knee braces and everything that I've been using for my knees because I've had a lot of questions. I definitely want to share the information with you. So since I've had my knee problems, I've definitely been experimenting with like different knee braces and different tapes because you just never know what's going to be the perfect for you. So my very first knee brace was this from My Pro Support. It's this nice knee brace. It's a beautiful hot pink and it has three straps. I really like this one because I was looking for the knee support and this had the O, but I liked, you know, my first knee brace, I didn't really know what I was buying. But I like that, you know, I could adjust with the Velcro. I definitely love this one to death. You can tell that it's like really wore out. They have not restocked on this in a while, so when they do restock, I'll probably buy another one. The one bad thing about this one is it is thicker. So like this is like a winter fall knee brace because it traps in heat. And you definitely don't want that, especially if you have swelling because it makes it worse. So that was the one downfall, but I do also like this one because you can adjust it. I can stick an ice pack in there and I can adjust it while the swelling is, I guess the swelling increases, I can leave it looser versus buying one that is like pre-measured for a good day. So then my second knee brace that I bought because I felt like I needed more support for my knee was this Mueller. It's a one, it's a Mueller for her, I'm trying to think of the model number, I don't know right offhand, but it, right now it is on Amazon and it is a top knee brace. This was a really great knee brace. Uh, one of the things I bought it for was the knee support, which inside it has a larger gel shaped U. And this gives you more knee support. And it also was thinner. I think this one was like $15.99 while this one was like $9.99. And I thought that was a good price because some knee braces go up to like hundreds of dollars. So when this came, I was very disappointed because I did measure for this and I bought a small, but it was way too tight. I couldn't even get it on my calf. So I wasn't able to wear this one when I first got it and then after physical therapy started, I was able to get it only on one knee. So I did try it out on my left knee and it really was a nice knee brace. I just didn't have the right size. So I have been wearing this one on my left and one thing that I like is because you have that U, when your kneecap starts to slip, you can tug on this slightly to pull it back in place. Now, one of the downfalls is it does have this stuff, it's like a grip, and it's what they put on the strapless brawls, and you know, sometimes that, like, it's very dangerous, and it, like, tears your skin, because it pulls and rubs. So I definitely always wear this one over a really thin pair of leggings. So after all of my journeys with knee braces, my physical therapist was like, well, let's try some kinesiology tape because you have a lot of swelling. So I was like, okay, you know, that sounds really awesome. No bulky knee brace. But the thing was we first tried rock tape, which I had kind of an allergic reaction to after the third day. And that is just my skin. I'm very sensitive to everything, like even a band-aid. So I could not use that and I began to search online for a different brand for people with more sensitive skin and I found Voodoo Tape. Voodoo Tape is actually located outside of the US so it does take some time to get this. So while I was waiting, I went on Amazon and I bought some Nordic Tape. Now Nordic Tape is a good tape, but again, I have that sensitive skin and I cannot wear this brand because of my allergies. And it is latex and zinc free, so it's just me and probably the adhesive. But one thing that I really liked about Nordic Tape is it had two color options and it came with a booklet of how to apply it, which you can find ways to apply it everywhere you search, but it's just kind of nice to have a go by. And it tells you how to put the tape on. Like you don't just put this on like tape off a tape roll. So I'm going to show you some of the tapes that I have experimented with now. Let's talk about tape. Here are those three brands. I have Nordic right here is the red. Voodoo, of course, with the skulls. And this black one is copper infused and it's off Amazon, but I don't remember 
the brand. I've had it for a while. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you take these off. And usually I soak in the bathtub to remove these because they are so sticky. So rule of thumb is you don't ever really want to tape over tape because it doesn't stick very well and you find that you're wasting tape. So I'm going to carefully remove the voodoo tape here and show you guys. Now the voodoo tape is like the easiest to pull off, but don't let that scare you because it does stick very well. And we're going to take a look at the underside of voodoo tape. So voodoo tape has the grooved adhesive that you can see. And here is that pretty other side and it's menthol infused. Definitely love this stuff. And Voodoo Tape does have that stretch, but it's more of a cloth, which I'm not complaining at all because this is the only kinesiology tape that I can use. I'm going to put that right there. So then the second one that I have is that copper infused, and it doesn't stick that well. You can see where it was kind of raised. We're going to go ahead and pull that one off as well. So underneath... It also has the like squiggle lines of adhesive and this one is very stretchy for some reason this one doesn't like hold its shape very well and then now we have the Nordic tape here let me try to pull this off this one's the most sticky and I didn't leave these on that long because some of these I have reactions to but I wanted to show you and we're going to just go ahead and take those off and leave them off for a second. This is what the underside of Nordic looks like. So you can see there seems to be something in the grooves with the glue. Maybe that is what helps with the inflammation by pulling the skin. You can tell they all three. The Nordic is the one that has like the most severe of a curve and then I would say voodoo tape. I don't know if that means anything but I definitely can tell that there is a difference in them. So we're going to set them over here and you can see my knee. Some of these leave a like really sticky adhesive. The Nordic lifting tape is one that leaves the worst that you will soak. And I'd say voodoo tape is the one that I'm least concerned about that. And like that sticky stuff, if you don't get it fully off and like you're allergic to the adhesive, you're still going to have that reaction. So definitely make sure you get all of that off and it will stick to everything. So then while that knee finishes, I'm going to show you my favorite knee brace that I have. Now this knee brace is from Techwear. Techwear Pro. It came from Amazon and I absolutely love this knee brace. Now the very first day that I had it though, this happened to here. I don't know if that's going to cause it to like malfunction later because that is like right where that grip strip is. But that was the one thing that I was really kind of disappointed about. This one was I think over 20 bucks. And I love it. I'm going to take it off and show you guys. And this is one that I actually wear pretty consistently if I'm not taped. This one does have the support things, but I always remove my knee braces like this. I just peel it off like a banana. And you can see on my knee that it has left a ring from that support. So that is that middle portion of the center. And then I have all this larger size, which sits out here so you can tell on my knee right here where the circle is that it is actually keeping it in the correct alignment and that's something I look for on my indentions because I don't want to make the problem worse and this one does leave a few indentions but they're not bad I've had worse I've had bruising and I've had it where it's taken my skin off so this one is definitely a nice knee brace and I bought this one because I wanted more knee support and I definitely got it with this one I think this one comes in red too, but the red is a little more pricey. And this one definitely has a different grip versus the Mueller, which has that straight tape. So this doesn't bother me on my direct skin. 
and this size is large. I know I said I had bought a small. So these things range in like different sizes. Like this one's a medium. And this one here, I don't even know. It might not even have a size. So they're all different sizes. So you have to measure, measure, measure correctly. Or you're going to be stuck with a ton of these. But this one here blends into with my leggings. And so it's not too visible. And when I put this on, it's so easy. I just give it a tug over my knee. And I let it rest in place. And you can see it does have a larger knee spot. But when you have knee problems like me, like you don't even care about how bulky that is as long as like you can move. So this, if I don't have it on, usually like I feel like really bad pain and burning sensation right here. And this does help so much. It doesn't like take it all away, but it helps. It improves probably about 70%. And that is really wonderful. It does have those side supports. I don't know about those. They don't really help me because I don't need them. I've actually thought about like trying to remove them because they are also like that um, transfer where they just heat seal it in. But I do like this one the best. Out of all knee braces, this Techwear Pro. And when I measured it, I did measure at a large. So their measurements are completely 100% correct. And this one does go under, like I've got it under sweatpants here. It will not go under leggings, but it blends in with black leggings enough that you don't really need to worry about it. All right, so we're going to go back over here to the taped knee and look. So right here, this is actually something I'm healing up from, from Nordic lifting. That stuff I really had the worst allergic reaction to, worse than rock tape. So I have actually stopped using that all together, except for what I use for this video. So you can see those lines on my leg here, which are from that adhesive. Well, those lines like start to turn red and then they raise. So that's going to probably be happening. And you can tell right here that it's already starting to raise some. And the bruises are just from knee problems and knee braces, what everything does. So I'm going to let that set in. Now that that knee is got all that adhesive off, I'm going to show you guys this Mueller brace. So this is one that you slide on just like that other one. And it's still a little tight. So like I said, I'm probably going to order it in a larger size. So when I put this on, I feel immediate support right here. Like, I mean, it's that's the amount of support that I would like. The tape to do but you have to have like a compression sleeve so this sleeve is definitely a little tight on me it doesn't roll though so that's good that it doesn't roll and it doesn't bunch but it definitely like I take it and pull it down to my shin like if I'm sitting in the car because sometimes I need a breather but it's definitely a good knee brace so I would definitely say the Mueller knee brace and the Techwear Pro are my two favorites. I do wear them actually like this underneath clothing, of course, because I don't want to be seen like this. And these are the two that if you guys are looking for knee braces for the patella support, I would recommend the most. But definitely with the size on this one, order up. And then with the tape, I have been using a Voodoo tape now for quite a few weeks and I've not had any problems with them. So I'm going to continue using Voodoo Tape, but it is so pricey, and it comes from outside of the U.S. It takes a bit to get here. So I've been just saving this for, like, extremely hot days that I can't wear any brace, and I really just, you know, use very little, and, like, when I cut the corners, I cut the corners very small. Because when you use Kinesiology Tape, you always want to round your corners because those are going to be the first to fray. And then when you apply kinesiology tape, you rip it in the middle, and that's where you put your pressure. And then you will tug until you get to a few inches from the bottom end here, and then you just release it and like lay it flat. And I always use a hair dryer on my tape to help get that first seal, and I've had no problem with that. But definitely look at the Voodoo tape the tech wear and that Mueller knee brace if you guys are wanting something for support because those are going to be your best bet and I know knee braces are so pricey these days 
especially if you need two. I don't want you guys to waste money like I have. So if you have any questions about these, definitely let me know. Um, I will keep you guys updated with this tech wear, especially with this going on. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to order another one because it's going to lose its like elasticity there. But it's definitely worked wonders in like the few days that I've had it. That is it for this new brace show and tell. If you guys have any questions, make sure you comment below because other people have them too. So ask away. I definitely have had these all for quite some time. I can answer any of your questions about them. And I'll put the links below to my favorite ones. If you guys want one of the other ones, just let me know and I can get you the link. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you like the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I'm sure there's going to be other odd, strange videos coming soon, too.